Okay, you guys, I have made it back home um, from my visit with my sister. I had an absolutely wonderful time. I'm looking forward to going back really, really soon. Um, I enjoyed that mall, um, Concord Mall. It was absolutely amazing. It was wonderful. So I'm back home, and I did want to come on, you guys, and do a, a um, hair review, a product review. You know, you know, I had shampooed my hair with this here. The DNA sulfate free shampoo and I conditioned it with the DNA detangling conditioner and I also used the um, leave-in conditioner and detangler okay so I'm doing my review on that okay I shampooed my hair the shampoo mm, it was okay it didn't la it lathered but it didn't lather up like you know a regular shampoo would but it did lather but it didn't have the, all the bubbles and all the lather that I you know was used to but it did have a lather to it um so the shampoo I really like the shampoo um and the conditioner detangling conditioner it didn't do like you know how you use the suave conditioner and it has a good slip to it where as soon as you put it on your hair your hair is just detangled it's got a good slip to it this didn't do that it just it didn't really do anything to detangle my hair, I think. But my hair was not tangled up really, really bad. But it didn't do as good as the suave uh, conditioner. That, you know, how I feel. Now, this leave-in spray, I put this in. I also added this um, kiwi oil. Have anybody ever tried this here? I tried to look it up, but I didn't see any reviews for it. I bought this out of Rose's store. Um, it smells so good, and it was like three dollars, but it really smells good, and that's why I bought it because I'm looking for some. We don't sell any hair fragrances. Well, I haven't seen. Um, I can't find any hair fragrances here where I live to make my hair smell good. But this kiwi oil, it smells so good, so that's why I bought it. But what I did, I sprayed this on, on my hair while it was wet, and I put this on top of it. Now, the results from my hair, as I did, I just put my hair in a puff. Once I did that, I just put my hair in a puff, and I just went, went, you know, went to work that night. So, when my hair dried, my hair was soft. It wasn't that crunchy hard like it usually be. So, I would say, I would use these products again. Because it did leave my hair soft once it had dried through the night, and it wasn't crunchy. But the following day, now, the following day, my hair was hard as a Brillo pad. So, that's all I can say. The following day, it was hard as a Brillo pad. It really was. Um, so, what I did, I'm using the um, glycerin and um, water. I used glycerin and water and the, um, wait a minute, I got something else to show you. Anyway, I left it in the car. I'm not finna go out there. But I had a bottle of uh, Shea Moisture Hibiscus Spray. I sprayed it on my hair with the water and glycerin. So that's why my hair is like it is now. That's really basically all I could do to it. And I put it in these twists. So now it's a little soft, but it's not as soft as I would like for it to be. So I would say I would use these products again. I really would. I would use them again. I think they did good. Yeah. So, okay. All right, while I was at the Roses store, you guys, I purchased, a, oh, y'all like my bracelet? Isn't that beautiful? I stole it from my sister house before I left. Uh-huh. That one and this little tennis bracelet she had. Yes, girl, I just scooped it up, honey. Yes, it was laying right down the bathroom counter. Yes, she'll find out later it's gone. Mm-hmm. Now, that's how me and my sister do. We just scoop each other's stuff up. You know, we find out later. But isn't it wonderful and beautiful? And this here, I got from her house. Well, she know I got this here. It's a pocketbook strap. You know how they have the straps on the handbags? Well, this is a strap that comes off a handbag. And I just wrapped it around my wrist and made it a bracelet. Isn't I'm creative? Yes. But no, this wasn't my ideal. I saw a C. Kane. I watched her, um... Uh, look good Friday videos and she had on a bracelet and she said it was a uh, I think she said hers was a necklace or something but um yeah that's a pocketbook strap honey but it looks like a bracelet okay anyway while I was at Roses you guys like I said I got this kiwi oil from Roses you guys and it really smells good 
I also purchased this um, moisturizing soap, pomegranate. Now I looked online to see if I could find any reviews on this soap and I couldn't find any reviews on this soap. The soap was only one dollar. But it smells so good. It smells really good, you guys. And um, the bar is big. I guess it'll last me for five years. This is the bar that come out of here. Thick soap. This soap smells so good. So when I shower, because y'all know I use body washes. But when I showered with this soap here, I just felt extra clean. It just made, it left me feeling extra clean. So it was only a dollar and it smelled, smelled so good. You know, so that's why I bought it. They had all kind of scents, but I tried the pomegranate scent, which I really, really like. So if y'all can get to your roses store, they had all these in different um, fragrances for one dollar. I hadn't seen a review on it, but um, smells good. It does. It doesn't lather up a whole, whole lot, but it does make a small semi lather. But it just left my skin feeling really, really clean. So I wanted to share it with you guys. What else did I get? Oh, I bought me some foundation from um L.A. Colors. And y'all, I don't wear foundation on my face. Y'all know I use the uh, Milk of Magnesia. And I use this here, which I got to buy me some more because I'm out. This Chasing Powder Gel that you can buy because my skin is very oily. But when I use those two together, um, when I use those two together, my skin is perfect. But I wanted to try some foundation, which I really don't need foundation, but I wanted to try. So I got this here, L.A. Colors Foundation. And it's in a, um, what color is this? Cappuccino. Because I don't know what skin type my skin needs. And I haven't used this yet. I mean, I took it, I took it and, um, swabbed it on my hand. And it blended in really, really good. So I haven't used it on my face. But I will be trying that. And, um, that's all the things I, um, yeah, had purchased. So, Anyway, you guys, I love y'all, um, and I'm back home now, so if anybody got, um, the day is Sunday, Sunday morning, um, and I'm going to get ready to say, yeah, I got to go to work tonight, but I'll be off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so if anybody got any, um, uh, videos they want me to make, just hit me up, and I also bought this black eyeliner pencil, yeah, in black. Cause I'm gonna start put oh my eyelash. Can y'all see my eyelash is gone right here? Is it different? No, it's this eye here. See, look at that, honey. I when I took look at there. The center of my lashes just gone. They just gone, honey. But I'm going to get it repaired. These here they look look okay. I need a few more right there. But these are the single lashes. But um yeah, I gotta get it repaired. But anyway, love you guys. Y'all be blessed. Uh, if you got any requests or anything, just let me know. Bye bye, and I enjoyed my trip in Charlotte. Next time I go, I'll let you guys know in advance because I did have a girlfriend that lived in Charlotte, and I called her and let her know, but it was such short notice, you know. But anyway, uh, next time I let you guys know in advance, maybe we can have a meet and greet at the Charlotte Concord Mall. Me and my sister would love that. All right, bye bye.